with Steve, and Steve is our expert brass guy, and he's got a lot of things. So when we talked about what gets instruments in the shop and what you can do to prevent, he had lots of solutions. So what's your first one there, Steve? Uh, the, the mouthpiece. Make sure the uh, band director, he should have one of these mouthpiece truing tools. Okay. A lot of kids drop their mouthpiece and they get out of round. Oh, that's not good. So, so it restricts airflow. Yeah. You can just take it and push it in. And if you need to, you can tap on it with a rawhide. And that's, and so what kind of complaints would the band director be getting if that was the problem? Uh, stuffy sound, not enough air. Uh, and you'd want to just, yep. if, if he's complaining about that or the band director's yeah. hearing that, just say, let me right. take a look at that mouthpiece. Yep. Yep. And that's, that's an easy fix. He can have that right in his drawer. All day long. Yep. Uh, okay, what's another one? Uh, on the mouthpieces, let's keep them clean. A lot, of, a lot of time kids don't clean them. We sell a mouthpiece brushes okay or, yeah mouthpiece brushes are yeah. really good so we we're going to be talking a lot about keeping the instrument clean but it starts with the mouthpiece because yeah. that's the closest to the human yeah and then uh keeping it clean on the trumpet just make sure the slides are pulled and yeah so stuck slides are a problem right so if they keep tuning slide grease on them they'll move if they keep them dry they won't move so then you can't clean the trumpet out correctly so that's something they need to check off. And yep. And so, then, so one of the things we've talked about, you really recommend that band directors have... All of them have a... All the kids should have a $20 care kit at home, which is very, very important. It keeps, keeps them clean, which includes the brushes, a, a rag, and a valve oil and tuning side grease. Yep. So if they can keep the instrument clean according to the care kit, probably once every two, three months, They'll save the life of the instrument on, on, all, on all of them. And you recommend, too, that they have a day periodically yep. in the band room where the yep. band director goes around and does some checking. What's he checking for with brass? Just make sure, for one thing, he needs to tell them the cork on all the spit keys are good. Make sure, tell, tell the kiddos that all the slides move. Mm -hmm. And to keep them clean, if it, keep every instrument clean. So he can go around the room and say, pull the slides for me. And if they yep. don't pull? Yep. And so what if you do have a really stuck one? Uh, bring it in. We have to, we'll have to pull all the slides for you. So that's, that's, that's one thing that we'll bring it back to the shop. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. So keeping the valves in good shape. Yep, so just make sure they don't drop them. On trumpets, when you oil them, you're just gonna pull them out about halfway. Grab your valve wheel and oil right at the top of the piston. Now I've seen a lot of students take the whole valve out. I wouldn't recommend it. And, I, and what do they avoid if they do, if they do it the way? Dropping them. <laughs> <laughs> or getting them in. Yeah, getting because, them in crooked. Because there's, uh, what, so what there's, do you check a, for? There's a valve guide on all, on all the brass. I'm gonna get a little closer on sure. there. Yeah. This is kind of an older valve guide, but there's a valve guide that one on on all the instruments there's right a, there's a small little eighth inch slot and that that's going to line up inside the valve right and you can kind of spin it until it locks into place now one of the, the dangers of spinning it is you can take the valve itself yep. and take the valve apart if you yeah. spin that so you right. have to be so, careful about so that just make sure the kids keep them tight yeah not not them and don't mess with it and all the guides work the same way they, they attach to the valve somehow and then you drop them in. Yeah. So I, I wouldn't recommend oiling from down here. Yeah, and you see a lot of band directors recommend that. Right. And so that's just that's just to get the water out of the instrument. Right. And then, uh, yeah. It would be easy if you told a kid just to just to dump the, the right. uh, dump it in there, but, but it doesn't get the whole valve, the piston. So you're not really doing the job right. when you did. So oil it so right bring it out right halfway, halfway, and you're you're not going to get the spring area up there. It's just going to nope. be it's going to be the flat just area the below that. The side of the valve. That's all. And just, just snug them up, and you're good to go.